Rob Portman, Republican of Ohio, Senate Finance Committee member and former director of the Office of Management and Budget under President George W. Bush. So how long will it take, Senator, for the full Senate to confirm Mike Pompeo to be Secretary of State? John will probably do it Wednesday or Thursday. If uh, Democrats object to moving forward with his nomination, they can push it off until Thursday. But then we're going to have a vote. And it's about time. You know, we need someone there badly. You were just talking earlier on your show about what's going on with regard to Iran. Uh, North Korea, obviously, is an area we need attention right away. Syria, what's going on on the eastern border of Ukraine. I mean, there's, there's lots of stuff going on around the world right now. And we need somebody there. And I was disappointed, actually, that we couldn't get Democrat support in committee, including a number of members who supported Mark, uh, Mike Pompeo's nomination as CIA director. But there are a number of Democrats, Joe Manchin, Heidi Heitkamp, I think your fellow Ohio Democrat, uh, Joe Donnelly, have indicated that they all intend to vote for Pompeo. If that's the case, he's got the votes. Why stall? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and Donnelly from Indiana and, and Joe Manchin from West Virginia, uh, my understanding, are, are taking a look at it. I know Heidi Heitkamp's already said she's going to vote yes. So we'll have the votes now. But, John, you know, it, it shouldn't be this hard and it shouldn't be this narrow of a margin. Uh, John Kerry won by 94 votes, his confirmation. Hillary Clinton got 94 votes. Uh, you know, it's just it, it is traditional when a president wants somebody as secretary of state that the members of the Senate, Republican and Democrat alike, say, OK, we may not disagree on all the policy issues, but this person is qualified. That's the president's choice. And we need to get somebody in that job. Mike Pompeo, as you know, graduated the top of his class at West Point. He then went on to become an Army officer. Uh, he also had a successful career in the private sector. He was on the House Intelligence Committee. He's a magna cum laude graduate of Harvard Law School. He's a smart guy. Uh, and most recently, he's done a good job at CIA. And so he clearly has the qualifications for this job. And I, I think it's disappointing. And I think it's a sad commentary on what's going on in Washington today that he doesn't have more support on both sides of the aisle. He's also a guy who undertook a top secret mission to North Korea and met with Kim Jong-un to lay the groundwork for what we expect is going to be a, a meeting between President Kim and President Trump. Um, your thoughts on, on his work there? Well, that's incredibly important right now that you have somebody who understands that issue. Even if he hadn't gone over to meet with Kim Jong-un, which we've now found out about, he still would be someone who has more background with regard to that issue than any other person probably in the country <laughs> uh, because of his work at the CIA and his understanding of the complexity of that issue. So, yeah, you, you, you want to have him and you want to have him now. That meeting, I think, could be constructive. Uh, it, it could also be a waste of time. It depends on preparation. And again, I think having Mike Pompeo there as Secretary of State will help make that a successful meeting. Uh, you noted the, the resounding numbers that John Kerry and Hillary Clinton both got when they were nominated to be Secretary of State, the numbers that they received in the Senate. What has changed since then? Well, from listening to my colleagues, and I talked to a number of them on the committee and off the committee about this nomination, encouraging them to take a look at Pompeo, to meet with him, which a number of them have. And a lot of the concerns you've heard raised are about President Trump, not about Mike Pompeo. And I understand that. Uh, people have differences of opinion. Uh, Donald Trump was duly elected president. Uh, he is our president. Uh, he should have the opportunity to choose the people he wants in his cabinet, assuming they are qualified. And again, there's, there's no red flags about Mike, Mike Pompeo as an individual. It's more about their concerns about policy. The other concern I heard was that they're concerned he'll be too focused on the use of force rather than diplomacy. And I would just uh, direct you to his testimony before the committee in which he said as a former army officer, as someone who's been in the military, he understands better than anyone the need to have soft power and diplomacy. And he committed to that. So I, I take him at his word, uh, having talked to him personally about this a few times, I believe that's where he will be. I think he's going to improve the morale at the State Department. Uh, I think he's going to get the State Department actually back in the mix more than it has been in terms of using diplomacy. So my hope, John, is that their concerns uh, will be misplaced and that he will earn their trust. Senator Rob Portman, Republican of Ohio. I'm sorry I put Joe Donnelly in your state. I know he's <laughs> next door. Right. He, uh, he's my neighbor. It's close enough. Sometimes, thinking off the top of my head, I don't close think enough. so well. well Appreciate it, Senator Portman. Take care, John. Thank you.